Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Emma Talley's golf swing. Emma certainly is gaining confidence on the LPGA Tour. Sort of a player of promise, sort of waiting for her to break through. Great amateur record, college record, so let's take a look. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look. So really a very interesting golf swing. I would say one of my favorite golf swings of one of the younger players. And certainly, like I said, player of promise. We're kind of waiting for a breakthrough because she has such a great record. And you can see why technique-wise, when she gets to the top up here, she makes a really athletic move where she bows this thing down with a left arm. But athletically, if you look, very strong-looking player. One-piece takeaway, really using the ground well. Look at the legs working hard here. And like I said, with the change of direction, this move here, the athleticism of this move, the perfect position of the left wrist, the super strong club face position, all those things add up to very accurate driving as long as the player is aggressive and moving through impact with a lot of power and force because sometimes the hooks get going only if she's maybe letting off the gas a little bit. But if she's really accelerating, so everything clears properly. This club will work through the hitting area beautifully. And you can see just such an amazingly natural motion. Tons of hard work, I'm sure, to get there. But a beautiful swing to watch. And I cannot wait to see if she becomes just yet another amazing young player on the LPGA Tour. We take a look at an iron swing here setup-wise. Classical modern posture, slight roundedness to the body, not ultra tight or ultra rigid. Slight knee flex, not too much, so we sort of see the kneecaps over the ball of the feet. Not overly flexed, so we can use those legs later in the swing. A little sit down move to start. And the club tends to work in her case slightly under the plane on some swings. And then because she shallows it so well, it will get down to the plane perfectly. Now, like I said, when she's clearing well, that's okay. If she doesn't, if she gets a little lateral shift, the club can get under too far, and that's where some problems might come in. Generally speaking with her, that does not happen. And we can see all the things that add up to better ball striking and keeping the club out from under the plane. So if we watch the movement on the backswing, slight movement forward toward the ball with the head. And there's that awesome position at the top, almost bowed with the left wrist, and then bows it even more. And now it's on plane at this point. If the ha hand's right off the plane, we're in trouble. So let's see as it comes through. You can see her trying to get that club back to the plane. And it doesn't get in jeopardy on most of her shots. But on some of the videos I've watched, I have seen combination of push hook some shots because she gets that driver under too much she gets some hook going on some shots but in general incredibly natural looking with the body working very efficiently through impact and into the finish one other point to note with this iron swing and she does it on all of her golf swings but something that a lot of players would benefit from is really working on flexibility to where the left arm or lead arm has plenty of room to move. So like your left lat, all the area th sort of through the lat, left shoulder being as flexible as possible to allow this arm to stretch back fully across the body. If your lats get tight, if your shoulders are tight, it can be very difficult to let that arm get across your body enough so that when you start down, the left arm is even more across your body. Look at that left arm straight across the shoulders. So now the body's in charge, the arms are not pulling at all. And that is the recipe for consistent ball striking. This shot here being a slight downhill lie looks like on the video, you could really see her work hard to stay in that posture. So like I said at the top, beautiful angle here forward. All the pressure in the legs, creating the sort of the pressure in the fronts of the feet here now completely using the ground. 
staying in posture, rotating. And now you can see that left leg getting out of the way. Hips completely clearing. And that's as free as it gets. So it's easy on the body. Staying down through impact all the way into this left heel, left leg straightening. Now in this clip, let's really highlight the downswing sequence and we can see left knee moving, left hip moving, pulling the arms down. And somewhere in her jun junior golf life, she was taught or certainly learned how to create this perfect left wrist and left hand action, which is not cupped. It's in a flat or bowed position coming in, which gives her club face control. Now sequentially, because she does have the flexibility to stretch that arm back, the lats are free, left arm's way back there. As she starts down, the body's pulling the arms. You can see there's a full stretch all the way across from the left lat, which attaches down here in the hip all the way up to the arm. That allows the, to pull the arm through and then let the club whip at the bottom into the finish. One last clip here with the full swing. We can see that transition move. Just how the club and arm are on the way up. Great extension, great width. Because she has the freedom to move the upper body because of the flexibility. There goes the left knee and left hip. That helps start the arms down. Then the lower body right side can push hard for power. Posting up beautifully on that left leg. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next one.